Thank you for having me. It's an mm -hmm. honor to be here. We all have a story. We all have pain. We all have things in life that's going to be taken away from us without our control. But I just didn't give up. That no matter what, I was going to end up finishing the race that I started. Hey everybody, Mandis Buckle with Maximum Muscle Report. We're at the 2018 Chicago Pro. It's finally quiet in here. Yes. The show is over. The night is over. And you walk away on top. Craig, it has been a long road. Yes. And I'm going to let you talk because it, it's your five minutes here. Okay. Um, I just want to thank everybody, you know, uh, for their support. Um, this is probably my last show. I have to talk to my wife about it. You know, the Olympia is definitely out. Um, like I was telling Bob earlier, I've been at this for 28 years. I've done six Olympias. There's been other Olympias that I've qualified for, but I chose not to compete in it because you turn around and all of a sudden, you know, uh, my wife and I have been married almost 22 years. Um, we have grandchildren now, a grandchild and one grandchild on the way. My oldest is 27. My, uh, I have another son that's 25 and my youngest daughter is 18. So all those years pass by you know, pretty much me prepping for contests. Now I'm getting a little older, it takes a little longer for me to get ready for contests. Right. Now instead of, you know, me getting ready in eight to 12 weeks, it's me getting ready in, you know, 16 to 20 weeks. So, you know, two hours of cardio a day and getting up at four in the morning. And so it's starting to really wear me down a little bit. I'll still obviously live the bodybuilding lifestyle. Um, I'll continue to train. Uh, maybe help a few friends prep them for contests and things like that. But, you know, for right now, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to hang it up a little bit. <laughs> well, it, it, if this is the end, this is the way to end it, isn't it? Yes. To go out on top. It's got to be a little bit of bittersweet. Um, when Bob came out on the stage and you guys were talking, I, I think everybody just, it was kind of surreal. They realized because you were talking about the family and the wife and the kids and the grandkids, and it really put everything into perspective. Yes, um, you know, and as bodybuilders, sometimes we want this so much, we actually lose, you know, we lose sight of sometimes what's important, you know, family and friends and things like that. You turn around and literally, you know, 10 or 15 years have gone by, and your babies are not babies anymore, they're actually adults at this point. You know, so there's years that you go by and you just, you miss them. Um, so now with my grandchildren, we already have uh, my grandchild and uh, two of my kids. We have uh, vacations planned for this summer. Um, so it's obviously also I work for the school system. So I have summers off. So prepping for the Olympia and getting ready, you know, getting ready for that and trying to go on vacation is something that, you know, it's a little difficult. I've done it, but it's very, very difficult. So, you know, this year at least I'm definitely sitting it out. Um, and again, you know, I'll talk to Mrs. Richardson. She's the boss. If she can deal with me, you know, another year getting ready, you know, taking 20 weeks or more to get ready for New York, maybe I'll do that. What do you think he should do? I think he should stay and win more medals and win more money <laughs> and save enough money for us to move out of Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> this is my granddaughter, Avani. She's nine. Um, so this is one of her first contests that she actually traveled with me to come away. Normally she'll do the, you know, the local ones like New York and things like that. But, you know, um, I figured this is the last one. So let her come out and Absolutely. let her, you know, see what goes on when I'm away. Cause they all think I'm on vacation <laughs> when I'm right, away. Right. They don't, they don't know that like, you know, dad or granddad is like, suffering in a hotel room you know dehydration and i'm right. so, i'm hungry and sleep deprived they don't get to see that part so now she finally gets to see it so maybe she'll understand a little bit better now absolutely well craig if this is your last uh it's an honor to be able to send you off into the sunset with the victory with the family here at maximum muscle report tim gardner we appreciate everything you've done for the sport 
Um, we look forward to seeing you now on the other side of, the, of, of things. Um, and on that note, I'm going to step out of the frame, give you a minute to say whatever you want to say to anybody. Uh, this is your time. Um, last year, Tricky retired here at this very show. Oh, wow, yes. Uh, we did the same thing. So I'm going to give you your, your few minutes to say hello or goodbye to whoever okay. you want to. Uh, and again, thank you so much. For oh, all thank you. Done. Absolutely. Um, you know, I'd like to thank, obviously, all my fans. Um, you stuck with me for years. Um, and you guys are great. Um, I also like to thank my wife, Jennifer. She's been unbelievable. You know, uh, we've been married a very long time. I've been competing 28 years, and she's been almost by my side just as long. So, you know, I just want to say thank you to her. Um, you know, my wonderful kids at home, they're not kids anymore, uh, but they'll always be babies to me. Uh, my training partner uh, for the last 21 years, Harley Bright, um, without him, you know, being by my side and pushing me the whole way, you know, it would have been very difficult to make it. And last but not least, Chris Aceto, uh, you know, in my opinion, the best nutritionist anyone could ever have. Uh, very motivational, um, and he definitely gets you in the greatest shape that you can never get in. So I just want to say thank you to all of you guys. You know, you've been Team Richardson since day one, and, you know, I love all of you, and if this is the last one, you know, again, thank you for all of your help.